Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Sunday, uh, the week of Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day early. I am gonna be sharing with you today something I actually got for Christmas. I wasn't doing videos um, back this December um, for the Christmas holiday to share with you what I did get, but today I'm sharing with you one of the bags I got for Christmas. I was actually fortunate enough to get a couple and the one that I'm sharing with you today, as you can see, is a Dior bag. You can see that she is boxed up. Um, of course, I have used her since Christmas, but wanted to kind of give you the full effect of Dior's packaging um, if you don't have a Dior bag and really the, the amount of effort I feel like that they put into making sure that the package is just really, really beautiful. Uh, so we will get to that. Um, first, I wanna share with you a little history about um, how I came to getting the bag. We were actually visiting my family in DC for the Thanksgiving holiday, and my sister-in-law had told me that uh, there is a place in DC that we hadn't been to when we had traveled before to see them, City, City Center, excuse me, and it has a Dior store. And I had been looking at these uh, mini Lady Dior bags online and kind of drooling over them on Instagram. And so my husband took me there to actually try some on. And I was fortunate enough that they had in stock the bag that I was looking for. And I loved it as much in person as I had, um, you know, fell in love with it online. So I guess what I would like to do now is show you the box, the packaging, um, unwrap it for you so you can kind of see what it looks like. Um, and the box is really beautiful and really, um, really heavy. The ribbon is very thick and beautiful. Um, my family and friends know that I, like I have said before, I am such a sucker for a beautiful um, package. And when I wrap gifts, I really try to put a lot of attention into the ribbon and the wrapping because I just think it shows that you're that much more thoughtful in your gift giving. So Dior did not disappoint. So to kind of get to it, I'm gonna take off this beautiful ribbon. And you can see the box, how beautiful that is. I actually have this box displayed in my closet because I think it is so simple, but it's really so beautiful. And when you open the box, the bag they had nestled in all of this beautiful tissue with a little sticker, which is still intact. And they even like accordion wrap the tissue, which is, I think is so pretty. So here is the dust bag that the Lady Doers come in. They actually come with two, or at least I had, um, I got two dust bags with this one. The Lady Doers, um, from what I'm told, all come with this beautiful swan uh, dust bag. And if you open it up, I'll get a little closer so you can see how beautiful it is. It's the Patent Leather Mini Lady Dior. And you can see they even put like a little cute ribbon on top to hold the handles together. And then there's this cute little bag where, oh gosh, I hope I didn't put it on it, <laughs> where the charms are. Here, and then it just kind of slides down to protect the bag when it's not in use. So there she is, so pretty. And on the bottom, there are these metal, what would those be, like grommets? So when you sit her down, um, there won't be a lot of wear on the bottom. And then on the inside, the minis have this flap to get in and out of the bag. On the inside of the bag is the strap. And then what I do, because this is the way that the bag came, is the other duster, which is just like the standard Dior duster. And then here is the patent leather strap. Now the mini Dior's actually come with a choice of two different straps. There is the all leather patent strap, which is the one that I went with, but I did try on the chain um, strap. The chain strap I really liked, um, but I felt like it really, for me at least, made the bag look really dressy and I thought that this, if I chose the leather, I thought you could really dress this up or it looks really cute dressed down too. Um, and the detail on there, you can see it has CD on there for the initials. 
Um, so the way that I wear it, of course, if you watched my videos before as I do really like crossbody bags. And so the way that I wear this, I just clip it there in the front and then clip it on the opposite side in the back, like so, really easy to clip off and on. And I always um, wear this crossbody. So I will show you where it kind of hits me, the crossbody. But of course, you can also carry it just on your shoulder, like so. It's a little long, I think. Or you can carry it through your wrist, like this, too. And of course, if I was going to carry it on my wrist, I would have not have the shoulder strap on it. But I think that that also looks really pretty. So if we do go out to eat and I don't want to carry like a clutch, and it's somewhere nice. I think that it looks really pretty just handheld or on your wrist if you were wearing a dress or even some nice slacks. Yeah, so I think she's really, really pretty. I'm really happy with her. I, I like the patent. I know there are some people that shy away from patent leather because they are maybe afraid that it's gonna crack. Um, but I just really love I love the silver um, hardware next to the patent leather and I think it's really pretty. And I've been um, really enjoying wearing this bag. So if we're gonna talk about this particular mini bag and the pros and the cons of what I've seen since I have been able to use it and I feel like I can give a pretty honest review since I've been carrying it since the end of December. So for really um, all of January, all of, um, February, or these two weeks of February anyways, um, this is the bag that I've been using the most of. And the reason that I like it is it is lightweight. I like that I've been able to carry it if we've gone somewhere where I've dressed up, but I also just carry it if we're going somewhere casual with, um, you know, just some jeans on and a t-shirt and then a nice jacket. I think it looks really cute. Um, I like that it's patent. I like that it has a silver hardware, like I said. I think that gives it kind of a little edgier feel. So if we talk about um, some of the cons of this bag or what people may not like about it, like I said, one of them is this flap. And the flap doesn't really bother me, but I read and watched a couple of videos where it did really bother some people. For me, it hasn't. Um, and I know why they did it, um, at least, well, I think I know why they did it. You have to have some kind of protection so your items don't fall out. This bag, if they would have put a zipper on this one, I think the mediums have a zipper. I think the small uh, Lady Dior still have the flap. But if this bag had a zipper, there would really be no way I could get my six plus in and out of here. And it would be just even more cumbersome to try to get in and out of the bag. So I like the bag, so it doesn't really bother me. I um, have just learned um, what I need to do to kind of get in and out of it. So like I said, a six plus will fit in there. The Louis Vuitton key pouch with your keys, it fits in there. And then, you know, maybe some lip gloss. Um, and then one probably uh, small leather good, something else could fit in there. But that's really it. It is pretty small. And then there's, um, as you can see, there's the zipper pouch in here too. Not much is gonna fit in there. So. So like I said, I am um, really liking this bag. I'm using it a lot. Um, they make it in a really, really pretty red patent uh, that I um, have been eyeing and really love. I don't know if that will be my next bag or not, but I definitely have my eyes on the red because I don't really have a lot of color in my bag collection. I have a lot of black um, and like a beige, but not a lot of color. So I thought a red might be good, but we'll have to see. So anyways, I really can't wait to see everybody's videos for Valentine's Day to see what people did for fun and what they got. I already had said in a previous video that um, I do already have my Valentine's Day gift. It's actually sitting behind me in that orange bag. Uh, my husband has made me wait for that. So I look forward to sharing with you what I did get for Valentine's Day. And also, of course, I'm looking forward to using it. So I hope you all have a really good week. 
and enjoy your Valentine's Day, whether it's with a spouse or a boyfriend, girlfriend, or just spending time with your family. I appreciate you all for watching and I hope you liked the video and I would appreciate it if you could subscribe um, and give me any kind of feedback of what you might like to see um, with any of my next videos. Like I said, I'm gonna really try hard to film on Sundays and then I'll make sure I even upload them on Sundays or upload them on Monday. So thanks again for watching and I'll talk to y'all soon, bye.